Hello, this is the Woodpecker Daksh tool changer that I've been working on. One of the last things that I needed to add to um, the tool changer to um, get it to be completely self-reliant was the ability to um, have error detection uh, both in the pickup and the uh, drop-off sequence for different tools. So I've implemented that using micro switches on each of the docks as well as on the carriage. Um, the tool changer is now capable of detecting if it has an error either dropping off a tool or picking up a tool and correcting uh, it automatically uh, using um, a homing sequence on the X and Y and trying that action again. So um, let's do a demonstration of um, the functionality. Um, the first one will uh, be an error while, while dropping off. So I will hold the um, carriage to make it skip some steps and not be able to dock correctly. And then we'll see uh, the tool changer um, take corrective action. So uh, let's uh, start off uh, with that demonstration. So I'm just going to do uh, a tool change from T0 to T2 and uh, hold the carriage. So as you see, we in introduced an error in here um, and the system was not able to dock the tool correctly. Now it is auto correcting. It has detected that the tool was not docked correctly and it is make taking a corrective action. It again is going to try the docking based on the tool that is selected. It is intelligent enough to understand what tool was selected before. And now it's going to pick up the correct tool, which is T2. Um, and then it can just go on continue printing uh, in there. Uh, so that's the first um, part of the uh, self-correction. The second one is when the tool gets drop, uh, dropped correctly, but while picking it up, there's an error and the system is uh, intelligent enough to um, be able to handle that as well. So let's uh, do the demonstration. Again, I'm going to let the tool T2 is going to drop. It's going to be um, dropping the tool off onto the lock. I'm going to allow it to do that. And then when it's going to pick it up, I'm going to stop it from picking up and then we'll see how it connects. So it has dropped the tool off correctly. Now I'm going to hold the carriage to make it skip, skip some steps and not be able to um, pick the tool up. And now it has detected that uh, it has not been able to pick the tool up correctly, but it also has detected that the T2 has been dropped off correctly. So it's going to go pick up T0 now, which was the uh, target tool that it wanted to pick up. It's going to pick it up, come back onto the um, build plate and it can start it can start printing again. So um, as you see, this essentially is uh, capable of detecting both kinds of errors and taking corrective action based on whatever um, error is occurring. It's not going to be 100% effective. Uh, my next plan is to kind of make it um, so that it tries a couple of times, then it pauses the print um, and beeps out for uh, user intervention. But uh, I do think that this is uh, a big step forward in making uh, the tool changing system reliable, um, especially in terms of long prints where it might actually encounter an error due to um, something getting stuck on the print and uh, uh, <coughs> causing the printer to lose steps, which can then um, uh, mess up with its ability to um, pick up and drop off tools. So uh, I hope this has been uh, a good demonstration of the capability. <coughs> we're very close to um, being able to um, release these files out. The only thing that is left is to um, finalize the purge and the um, and the pallet system that I have um, been developing um, to um, get rid of the purge towers. Um, and um, so as soon as that is done, we should be able to release this out. Uh, thank you. Um, hope you guys um, enjoyed this demonstration and uh, um, we should be, um, I'll get back to you with more details on the release very soon. Thank you.